Hello everyone, welcome to the K108 box connection cable tutorial video. In this video you're going to learn how to make the uh, cable you need to go from a 20 pin connector to a 25 pin connector. First you're going to need your K108 box which is this right here. You're going to need about a foot to a, about a foot and a half of this 20 uh, strand cable that we're going to be using. You're going to be using a 20 pin connector which is this that I have here on my left and a 25 pin connector which I have here on, on the right. And uh, to begin, um, let me introduce this cable here. As you can see, this is a 20 pin or, or a 20 strand uh, cable. And if you look on the left hand side here, you're going to see the red strand. So there's one side that's uh, stranded with the color red and the rest are gray. So for this demonstration, this red cable will be pin number one. And then this cable all the way on the right will be pin number 20. So when I say cable number 1, cable number 2, cable number 3, we're going from left to right all the way up to cable number 20. And uh, you're also going to be needing this uh, connector here. Now this connector is a little tricky. It's got two pieces to it. So this is the top and this is uh, the bottom part but as you can see it's got some metal teeth in there so for this uh, demonstration it's just pretend it's an IC chip this pin right here in this corner will be uh, pin number one which is right here so that's one and then two three four five six seven eight nine and then pin number ten is here in this corner and then if we have to go to the uh, other corner and this will be pin number 11 right here and then 12 13 14 all the way up to pin number 20 so in this connector here we got again we got pin 1 pin 10 pin 11 here and then pin 20 so when I say uh, pin number you're gonna know what I'm referring to so as you can see there's a little teeth there they're a little bit offset so that when you crimp the cable on, you don't not crimping uh, the same cable with two different teeth. So each uh, tooth is a little bit offset from each other, so that uh, you're gonna be crimping 20 different cables. Okay, that's the 20 pin cable, and then you got the uh, 25 pin uh, connector right here. And as you can see, it's really hard to see, but. Look, looking closely there you, you can see the numbers one two three four five so this one here would be pin one all the way up to pin 13 on the right and then just below that's pin 25 and that one would be pin 14 so you got pin one at the top here pin 13 at the top there in the top right corner and the bottom left you will have pin number 14 and then bottom right you will have pin number 25 we're going to be using this later on let's put that to the side and just so you know your K108 box here we got this little notch right there and then as you know from an IC chip this pin right here will be pin number one one two three and so on pin 10 11 12 13 14 15 all the way up to pin 20 so pin 1 pin 10 pin 11 pin 20 now to begin um, you're gonna have to crimp this cable to these two connectors here so let me demonstrate now to begin connecting this uh, cable you're gonna grab the bottom piece of the 20 pin connector and as I mentioned before, this right here is pin one. Treat it like an IC chip. You see the teeth at the front. Uh, at the, the teeth are at the top, and then the pins are at the bottom. So this is your pin one right here. In the in the top uh, top left corner would be your pin one because when you plug it in to the K108 box, that would be pin one. And you're gonna be closing the lid on it like that right on top. But first, you need to crimp the cable in. So before you do that you grab the cable like that and then you got your red all the way on the left 
and you just make sure everything lines up perfectly as you can see there that there's these little grooves that fit in perfectly to the cable so you're just gonna make sure that each um, strand is in uh, a different groove there's 20 grooves and there's 20 strands of wire just gonna make sure that they're all lined up once you got that you grab the bottom part and then you put it together now once you manage to place the cable in between the bottom piece and the top piece you're gonna have to adjust uh, you're gonna have to apply pressure both on the on the right side and on the left side it's kinda hard to do with uh, your fingers so you're gonna have to grab a breadboard and the, the best way to do it is to stick this into the breadboard and then you have to grab a clamp you put this you would put this in between the clamp like that and you would apply pressure from here and from here and then cl clamp it together until they close I don't have a clamp right now but for demonstration purpose I'll just leave it like this but uh, in during your class you will be closing um, this uh, the two top pieces you will make sure that both of them are are crimped together really really well and that they close well so then uh, after that you'll have a cable that looks like this and the other end will be like this now here we see a chart table and we got two columns we got the column on the left representing the pin number on the 20 pin socket and the column on the right is the actual number of the cable of the 20 strand cable so we got uh, pin number one is actually hooked up to cable number two pin number two of the socket is actually hooked up to cable number four and so on it goes all the way down to pin number 20 is hooked up to cable number one the next step is to take the other end of the cable and you're gonna strip off each individual strand you're gonna strip off about a couple of inches and you're gonna have 20 loose strands happening like this um, this would be your next step so once you do that then you're ready to connect it to the 25 pin socket before we continue we add a third column to the table that we saw earlier and this third column will be representing the 25 pin socket connections so as you can see on the 25 pin socket we will only be using uh, pins number 9, 8, 7, 6, 25, 15, 13, 12, 10, 5, 4, 3 and number 2 so we will not be using some of the cables we will not need cable number 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 19 having and said that one. you can go ahead and you can cut the cables that you don't need so that you don't get confused as you can see here I've cut some of the cables the ones on the list that we do not need so I've cut cable number 1 cable number 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and cable number 19 are cut and only the ones that you are going to be using are left over taking another look at the chart I have highlighted in blue the pins and the cables that we will be using to read this chart you will read it as follows you take pin number 6 on the 20 pin socket and that pin will connect to pin number 9 on the 25 pin socket and that is represented through cable number 12 now how you would do this is you would take pin number 12 on the cable which is this one and you will connect it to pin number 9 on this connector of the 25 pin connector now you just gotta make sure that it is actually pin number nine that you you have to read the numbers carefully I know for a fact it's the fifth one from the top left corner so I know it's one two three four five this is my pin number nine so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this cable and I'm gonna put it right through pin number nine which is that one I just gotta make sure that this end, this end here doesn't get crimped through one of these other set of teeth at the bottom so I just gotta make sure it goes in between the other two set of teeth right and of course you're gonna be using the aid of uh, your electronic tools little crimpers or needle nose pliers to help you out or a little screwdriver so this top end here goes through pin number nine but this bottom end here goes in between these two set of teeth so only this 
top part is crimped and that's the idea and you're gonna have to go through the uh, list making sure that you're crimping the right number cable to the right uh, pin connection now once you go through each cable um, it'll look something like this you will have some cables crossing over and it'll look something like that this is probably the trickiest part of the whole process but uh, once you get this done you just grab the top part of this 25 pin connector and it just uh, crimps on and you can put it in between two flat surfaces and add a lot of pressure to make sure that it's really on there it'll look something like that but that is pretty much um, the end of this video thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial video and your cable is now ready to be tested and I just ask your instructor to uh, lend you the electronic testing equipment for this.